Mantu Masane Mantu at Michavala Alam Simang. Born 9 October 1940 was a politician. She was Deputy Minister of Justice from 1996 to 1999 and worked as a Minister of Health from 1999 to 2008 when Tabumbeki was President of the Republic. She was also a Minister in the Presidency under President Khalima Mutlante from September 2008 to May 2009 in his short period as President. Her unorthodox approach on treating South Africa's AIDS epidemic with homegrown easily accessible vegetables such as potato, garlic and beetroot rather than with antiretroviral medicines was the subject of local and international criticism. Her approach and policies are believed to have led to the deaths of over 300,000 infected South Africans. Born as Mantomazana at Mimali in Durban, Chabalalam Simang graduated from Fort Hare University in 1961. As one of a number of young African National Congress cadres sent into exile for education, she received medical training at the first Leningrad Medical Institute in the Soviet Union from 1962 to 1969. She then trained as a registrar in obstetrics and gynecology in Tanzania, finishing there in 1972. In 1980, she received a master's in public health from the University of Antwerp in Belgium. She was an official within the exiled ANC leadership in Tanzania and Zambia during the later years of apartheid, with job responsibilities focused on health and well-being of ANC militants there. Chabalala Msimang married her first husband, Mandla Chabalala, while both were in exile in the Soviet Union. Later, she married Mandim Simang, the treasurer of African National Congress. Concern over Chabalala Simang's health came to light in late 2006. She was admitted to Johannesburg Hospital on 20 February 2007, suffering from anemia and pleural effusion, an abnormal accumulation of fluid around the lungs. The Department of Health approached President Tabumbeki and asked him to appoint an acting minister. And on 26 February, Jeff Khatewe was appointed acting health minister. On 14 March 2007, Chabalalam Simang underwent a liver transplant. The stated cause was autoimmune hepatitis with portal hypertension, but the transplant was surrounded by accusations of alcohol abuse. She subsequently recovered her health and returned to her ministerial duties until her replacement as health minister in 2008. On 12 August 2007, four days after the controversial dismissal of her deputy minister, Nozizwe Matala, the Sunday Times ran an article titled, Mandu's Hospital Post Bench, about a previous hospital stay in 2005 for a shoulder operation. The article alleged that she sent hospital workers out to fetch wine, whiskey and food items, in one case at 1.30 a.m. Shabalalam Simang threatened to take legal action against the newspaper on the grounds that they were in possession of her medical records. The paper defended its statement stating that a retraction was not under consideration. The article also reported speculation among many top medical experts at state and private institutions who refused to be named as they feared a retribution from the health ministry that her liver condition was alcohol-induced. According to a Sunday Times article titled Mantu, a drunk and a thief, published on 19 August 2007, the minister was a convicted thief who had stolen patients' items at a hospital in Botswana and had been deported from Botswana and declared a prohibited immigrant. Chabalala's administration as Minister of Health was controversial because of her reluctancy to adopt a public sector plan for treating AIDS with ARVs. In 2000, she was interviewed by Radio 702 presenter John Robbie. Chabalalam Simang refused to state whether she believed HIV caused AIDS. She was referred to as Dr. Beetroot for promoting the benefits of beetroot, garlic, lemons and African potatoes, as well as good general nutrition while referring to possible toxicities of AIDS medicines. She was widely seen as following an AIDS policy in line with the ideas of South African President Thabo Mbeki, who for a time publicly expressed doubts about whether HIV caused AIDS. They were in sync. In 2002, the South African cabinet affirmed the policy that HIV causes AIDS, which, as an official statement, silenced any further speculation on this topic by cabinet members, including the president. 
In August 2003, the cabinet also voted to make ARVs available in the public sector and instructed Chabalalam Simang to carry out the policy respectfully. The Treatment Action Campaign and its founder often targeted the Minister for Criticism, accusing the government and Ministry of Health in particular for an inadequate response to the AIDS epidemic. The Treatment Action Campaign led a campaign calling for her resignation or dismissal. Tech accused Chabalalam Simang of being aligned with Matthias Rath, a German physician and vitamin entrepreneur who had charges laid against him for discouraging the use of ARVs. Chabalalam Simang placed her emphasis on broad public health goals, seeing AIDS as only one aspect of that effort and one which, because of the incurable nature of HIV, and financial costs of HIV treatment might impede on broader efforts to improve public health. A report making the case that AIDS is such a burden on the public health system that treating it would actually free up costs was sent back for clarification and not released the summer of 2003 until it was obtained and leaked by tech. After the cabinet vote to accept findings of this report, Chabalalam Simang was in charge of the ARV rollout, but continued to emphasize the importance of nutrition in AIDS and to urge others to see AIDS as only one problem among many South African health problems. A case that attracted much public attention was Nozipo Begu, a daughter of an African National Congress legislator who rejected antiretroviral treatment for AIDS in favor of Chabalalam Simang's garlic and lemon diet. As a result, she passed away and the minister didn't even attend her funeral, opting to send a stand-in who was booed off the podium. In August 2006, at the International AIDS Conference in Toronto, Stephen Lewis, the United Nations Special Envoy for AIDS in Africa, closed the conference with a sharp critique of South Africa's government. He said South Africa promoted a lunatic French attitude towards HIV and AIDS describing the government as obtuse, deletory, and negligent about rolling out treatment. After the conference, 65 of the world's leading HIV and AIDS scientists asked in a letter that Tabumbeki dismissed Chabalalam Sima. At a meeting with traditional healers to discuss future legislation in February 2008, Chabalalam Sima argued that traditional remedies should not become bogged down in clinical trials also saying we cannot use Western models of protocol for research and development. In September 2008, Chabalalam Simang called for greater protection of the intellectual rights of African traditional medicines. Speaking at the sixth commemoration of the African Traditional Medicine Day in Cameroon, she said that the continent should benefit more from its ancient traditional knowledge. With the endorsement of Jacob Zuma's supporters, Chabalalam Simang was re-elected to NC's 80-member National Executive Committee in December 2007 in 55th place with 1,591 votes. Mbeki was forced to resign by the NC in September 2008 when his successor Khalima Mutlante took office in 25 September 2008. He moved Chabalalam Simang to the post of minister in the presidency, appointing Barbara Hogan to replace her as minister of health. Chabalalam Simang was not included in the first cabinet of President Jacob Zuma, announced on 10 May 2009. Chabalalam Simang died on 16 December 2009 at the Vets University, Donald Gordon Medical Center and Mediclinic ICU. Her doctor, Professor Jeff Wing, announced that she died due to complication arising from a liver transplant. Political opponents and friends alike expressed shock at the announcement of her death. R.I.P. Queen.